Hi ho, it's your Uncle Joe. You know, as a kid in the 1970s and 80s, I collected uh, Star Wars action figures from Kenner and actually had quite a good collection of them. But over the years, I must have sold them, lost them, uh, thrown them away, broken them, uh, given them away, uh, because by the end of the 80s, I didn't have any anymore. But sometime during the mid 90s, I got a little nostalgic and wanted to have at least a few in my collection. Uh, by that point, the action figures that you could buy in stores uh, cheaply were the Power of the Force 2 uh, action figures from Hasbro. Now, these are some of the least loved action figures in Star Wars history. The articulation is not really much better than that of the classic uh, Kenner line, and the sculpts are mediocre to bad. What really uh, separates the uh, Power of the Force 2 action figures from other action figure lines is that these figures are all really muscular. They're all really jacked with like big pecs and biceps and they're always in like in this like aggressive uh, pose like you know, like Whoa! you know they got that look like they're gonna get into a fight uh, outside a bar or something. That's what they look like and uh, a lot of times the uh, the likeness to the actors is uh, not exactly not exactly spot on, but uh, they are the figures that I have. This is it. This is all I have left of uh, my Star Wars collection. Uh, we'll start here with uh, Luke. This is Jedi training Luke. I think from the Dagobah scenes, and you'll see that uh, like the old uh, Kenner action figures. These ones have like five points of articulation. They bend at the hips and elbows and the neck. Uh, the one extra point of articulation is the, there's a bit of a waist swivel, which I, you know, admittedly comes in handy when you uh, pose them. Here is Darth Vader. Not too bad, but I, I, I kind of pictured him as being, you know, significantly uh, taller than Luke, but he's not really in this one. He does, like Luke, come with a lightsaber and this uh, hard plastic cape, and uh, not, not a terrible uh, likeness, but there are many that are much better, uh, actually. Here is Han Solo. And I, th I think you can see that that is not not a great like not a great likeness of um, Harrison Ford, but he does come with his classic uh, blaster. And this is one where you can really see the uh, you know the steroided up uh, look of the Power of the Force two action figures. And what would Han Solo be without Chewie? Now. Uh, I think I've got these figures paired up with the right accessories. When I got these back in the 90s, I just took all the accessories and put them in like a Ziploc bag. But um, I think I got uh, Shui matched up with the correct uh, the correct one. Again, you'd think that like uh, Shui is uh, significantly taller than Han, but uh, not so much. This is kind of the one weird one I have. It's the uh, Force Ghost of uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. He's see through. I don't know if you had to send in proof of purchases for this one and get it. I, I don't remember, but I think I got this one through the mail. And I like to uh, pose this one standing behind Luke while he's having a uh, lightsaber duel with Darth Vader. And I, I, I like to imagine him sort of nagging uh, Luke during the fight, you know. Luke, use the force. Uh, use the force, if, if, if you could. I mean, if it would not be too much trouble, you know, if you could just go ahead and use the force. You know. So this is fine for that. And I had to get these two. Uh, C-3PO. Not, not a terrible C-3PO. Uh, a little bit, you know, he's even got that... that uh, uh, aggressive pose, but I noticed that uh, the real 3PO in the movies actually does this quite a bit, that that, that look. 
he actually does that quite a lot. And I think the best of the lot here is R2-D2. Uh, he does have the uh, third, the third leg, uh, and the dome swivels around. It doesn't have the little antenna thing that sticks up, but uh, other than that, you know, I, I I prefer the action figures at the three and a half inch uh, scale. And as these go, um, it's a pretty darn solid uh, R two D two. So uh, those are the Power of the Force two action figures I have. Uh, I give them a 35 out of 53. All right, see you tomorrow.